Welcome to The Real Deal, and today we're gonna to discuss three tips for first-time home buyers. Buying your first home is a major decision and an exciting milestone, even though it can feel daunting at times. It has the power to change your life for the better. If you're looking to purchase your first home, you may be wondering what's happening in the housing market today, how much you need to save, and where to start. Here are three things that can help give you the information you need to confidently pursue the dream of home ownership. Number one, consider all options when the number of homes for sale is low. Today, there are far more buyers in the market than there are homes available for sale. When that happens, it's a good idea to do what you can to increase your pool of options. That could mean expanding your search to including additional housing types. For first time home buyers, Considering condominiums, otherwise known as condos, and townhomes can be an excellent way to increase your choices. According to Bankrate, quote, townhomes often cost less than single family homes of a similar size in the same location. In another article, Bankrate also says, quote, buying a condo can be a great way to dive into home ownership without worrying about upkeep that comes with single family homes and townhouses. Condos and townhouses are both great entryways into home ownership. When you buy either one, you can start building equity, which increases your net worth and can fuel a future move. Number two, know your down payment could be more within reach than you think. Saving for a down payment can feel like one of the biggest obstacles for home buyers, but that doesn't have to be the case. As the National Association of Realtors says, quote, one of the biggest misconceptions among housing consumers is what the typical down payment is and what amount is needed to enter home ownership. Data from NAR shows the median down payment hasn't been over 20% since 2005. Here's a graph that breaks down the median down payment by age group for recent home buyers according to the 2022 Home Buyers Sellers Generational Trends Report from NAR. Based on the data, the median down payment for all home buyers is 13%. Well, that's well below the common misconception of 20%, and it's even lower for younger buyers. This could mean you may not need to save as much for a down payment as you initially thought. There are also down payment assistance programs available for many buyers. Not to mention some loan options require as little as 3.5% down for buyers who qualify. While there are advantages to putting 20% down, especially in today's competitive market, know that you have options to get more information on how much you may need to save and the help that's available. So talk with a professional on this. Number three, work with a trusted real estate advisor throughout the process. Finally, no matter where you're at in your home ownership journey, the best way to make sure you're set for success is to work with a real estate professional. If you're just starting out, they can help you with the initial steps, like educating you on the process of connecting you with a trusted lender to get pre-approved. Once you're ready to begin your search, a real estate professional can help you understand your local market and search for available homes. And when it's time to make an offer, they'll be the expert advisor and negotiator to help your offer stand out from the rest. So ladies and gents, here is the bottom line. Knowledge is key to succeeding on your home buying journey. Knowing market trends, what you need for down payment and what options you have as a buyer today can give you the confidence you need to buy a home. So let's connect so you have an expert on your side who can help you navigate the home buying process. That's all we've got time for on this episode of The Real Deal. So if you've got questions, shoot me a message or comment below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.